Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and welcome to episode number three of the Studio One 4.5 series. And in this video, we are going to look at the fantastically redesigned and rethought out grouping. Now, grouping um, was already a pretty useful function and a lot of people use it. I don't use it that much, but I think I'm going to be using it a lot more um, following what I'm about to show you. Um, it is really, really cool because now you can group things according to attributes um, like volume and pan, mutes and sends, inserts, and that kind of thing. Um, and you can assign each group with a name, with a color, and with a keyboard shortcut uh, to enable and disable it. Um, there is also um, a new command to globally enable and disable all groups at once. Uh, which is really really cool and groups can be nested within groups so for example if you have a drum group you can now have um, a separate group within that for your snare top and snare bottom channels uh, which is great so you can nest groups which is uh, amazing uh, and so both the arrange of you and the mix of you now have uh, a dedicated group list so that you can have them independently show and hide in either the console or the arrange of you, which is really excellent. So let's have a look at it, shall we, instead of talking about it. Now you'll notice at the bottom here, above the automation um, indicator at the bottom, above that you'll have this word none. That means that no groups are assigned, and I'll show you how you can open that in just a second. So let's go up to the mixer wrench, and there is a setting here that says group assignments. So if I, I have that checked just now, but if I uncheck it, that goes away and it is kind of like normally as you would have seen it in previous versions of Studio One. But if I include it now, you can see which, is, which channel is assigned to which group. So how do I create a group and how do I assign one? It's fairly straightforward. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this group button that is brand new in the channel list for the mixer so here we go we've got this group section here and all your groups will be listed here in this uh, section here so let's create a group so let's click this channel here I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select this one here and then I'm gonna do control I hold control down and press G and then this add group dialog appears so let's call this band but at no, de, band, and then we're going to go OK, and now our group is created. And for some reason, it defaults to bright yellow. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. And the cool thing is, if I click on this yellow stripe here, um, sorry, right click on this yellow stripe here, all of the um, attributes that I might want linked to this group appear here. So editing, volume pan, mute sends, record monitor, and so on and so forth. You can also dissolve the group by doing control shift G or command shift G. And you can also change the color by clicking on the stripe here. And I'm gonna make it kind of this much lighter, easier on the eyes blue color. And so at the, at the indicator here, I can see that all of these um, channels are now grouped together in this band group. So I can close that chan that uh, section up there. And let's go to the uh, range of view. And if I go to the wrench here, um, I just need to try and find it. That's because I'm looking for it in the wrong place. It's not in the wrench. It's in this guy over here, the track list. So if we click the track list over here, we see that there is a similar group button over here. And now that we can see that our we have all of our tracks listed in the track list here, as we would normally have seen them before, um, although it looks a lot more smart and swish, I have to agree. And then you've got your groups over here as well. Uh, and this is all very cool. So this section opens up when you um, when you click this group show hide here. And we can hide that and we can hide that. And that is as easy as that really. Um, so um, I would suggest you go and explore this for yourself. Um, check out how to create groups and um, have a go at uh, nesting them and all of that fun stuff. Uh, and I will see you 
on the next video. Bye for now.